Hello once again and welcome to my class and now I'm going to teach you how to cut a simple Agbada um, dress with a twist so all you need to get is two yards of Ankara fabric as I have on my table here and I folded into four this is the folded part you can see here and I just folded the other way to sideways so it's really very easy to make so I'm using two yards because I want to complete the length with some English fabric so all I need to do at this point is to first get the length of the dress I want to cut. So I want about 43 inches. So I'm going to subtract 43 um, from the dress, because from the upper part, the upper part will be Ankara. So 43 minus what I have here, this is 35. So I will need eight inches to complete it. So I'll use eight inches for the English fabric to complete the length. So there are two ways you can do this. Is either you get the fabric and you join first before you cut, or you cut and subsequently you join. So this is the English fabric I'm going to be using. Um, it's a white stripe fabric. So I already have two pieces of this cut. So all I'll need to do is about nine and a half inches is to add this at the bottom, as you can see here. Okay, so if I add that, all I need to do is sew and fold at the end. It's really very straightforward and easy. So when cutting, always take into consideration your folding allowance half inch both ways. So whether you fold here or you fold there, it's going to be shorter. So let's get going. Now I'm going to get the neckline first. Okay, I want about a four and a half inches depth. As you can see, then um, white width is going to be about four inches. Okay, so all you need to do is just um, take the chalk and trace. Okay, as you can see, it's really straightforward. Now, having done that, I want a slit at the bottom of the um, neckline. So I'm going to measure from that four and they have about four inches. Okay, and I'm going to just going to make a small like that so I'm going to cut that out so you can see the slit you have in the picture and that's all you need to cut your agbada but if you remember I folded it into four so I'm cutting together this is the shoulder the folded part so I'm going to cut it about two inches shorter first because it's the back and the front I don't want it to be like a booba okay so I'm just going to take off that first then now I'm going to open up this I'm going to open it up lengthwise so I can cut the front leg okay so I'm going to open as you see I've opened it up remember we'll cut the back and the front together so now I'm going to cut off the four and a half inches depth neckline then this part I curved a little so you can have a small opening like a tunic neck in front so there you have it so if i fold open i'm going to close back the way towards the four i'm going to fold back so that there you have it and that's your other neckline so you can just tear this so all you need to do is to sew by the sides straight down so if it's going to be for a big person all you need to do is get the person's hip measurements and that will guide you to know how much you need to sew like if it's going to be for a size 16 a size 16 is about 48 so all i need to do is take my tape from this center folded part i'm going to measure 48 and add like one extra inch or one and a half so instead of 48 i'm going to do like 13 inches okay or 13 and a half inches from the set folded part so right there i'll just sew straight down but don't close from the top part you should leave allowance for your armhole so the armhole allowance should be just about eight inches or nine inches okay as you want so from that point you just sew all the way down and your brother is ready if you like my video please like subscribe and feel free to share with your friends thank you